Hey, what's up guys? It's Fishing for Sanity here from Pinnacle Reef Shark Fishing. Just going to give you a quick rundown for you Googans out there that don't know how to store a bait. Because as we know, it's all about the bait. You take care of your bait, it'll take care of you, you'll catch good sharks. We got uh, all these mahis I just got. Plenty of them. And we're going to be storing, you know, chopping these down and storing them in the deep freezer. All you really need is a knife and a baggie and a cutting area and maybe a hose. So uh, I'm going to get to it. All right, uh, we got some beautiful baits ready to rock. We don't waste nothing either. I like to uh, bag up the heads, then I bag up the belly meat for short drop rigs. Break the back. Cut that sucker off. We ain't got no fancy knives here. I'm Foxes are going to be eating good tonight out here. You can stick them in trash bags too, but just make sure they're unscented. No scented trash bags. Most of the time we like to use the two gallon Ziploc baggies, but this was a deal on like 38 of these one gallons and mahi heads aren't like tuna heads and cow nose ray wings, so they'll fit fine in the for a minute run them in shortly got a bunch of them uh, I'll save like I said in these belly meats for short drops so we don't waste anything man so you can either go offshore on a charter and get your mahi like that you can go out to the bay bridge and catch rockfish and save the carcasses i got a few spots sweet spots for uh cow nose rays or if you got a buddy who owns a boat or if you own a boat go out and get your own mahis or whatever bluefish tuna whatever's running the sharks aren't too picky But by far, my favorite shark bait up here in the Northeast is mahi. Or big bluefish. Not no little ones. Flies will be here soon. If you have uh, one of those um, sealer things, that will be the best, man, to keep it fresh for a long time. But this will have to do for now. Let me sip some of these ice bags around that. I don't feel like taking them in right now. Oh yeah, we're in the mahi, boys. We are in the mahi. I'd say by far the worst bait to have to cut up is, uh, these are clean, man. You know, this ain't even nasty, but stingrays, man. Disgusting. Cow nose rays. Their guts are so freaking nasty, dude. I lost count. Right. 
Sometimes I like to use a serrated knife for this because I'm cutting through bones so I don't want to have to keep sharpening my knife. It's more like a saw. Man, this will be good for two weekends, man. This is awesome. We got hooked up. Comment your and let me know your favorite shark bait. Down south, my favorite shark bait is Jack Creval and probably Rays or Bonita. Up here, it's Mahi for sure. Next, we're going to go on a mission and catch a bunch of rays because uh, in North Carolina, I've caught so many good sharks, man. Big 11-foot duskies, 11-foot tigers, everything loves cow nose ray, but I got two giant tuna heads I'm going to soak down there too, but the rays are my go-to. They never fail. Ugh. Tell you what though man, that is beautiful baits right here. That's that money up here. That gold. You what else we got? Nothing, huh? Is that it? Yeah. No. Oh bluefish head. Probably refreeze that. Swap bags out. Give it a little refreeze. Been on good ice. That's a big blue. Caught a nice sand tiger on a big blue like that this weekend. Wanted a bull or a tiger, but hey, we'll take it. We tag them. Quick release. I'm waiting on some info of a recapture right now, so that'll be cool. Yeah, and like I said, man, we don't waste nothing around here, so all this will get bagged up. Sometimes it's real hard to come by, dude. There's one thing I can't stand is out there shark fishing. Dropping little baits like bunker. It works, don't get me wrong, but this stuff's where it's at, dude. All day. All day. You can find a used uh, deep freezer on Craigslist for like 50 bucks, man. Tons of them on there right now, I guarantee it, 50 bucks. Yo, we're like the US post office out here, dog. If it fits, it ships. Well, I'm gonna finish bagging this crap up and I will catch y'all next time. Peace.